In this video I'm going to show you how you can find a Taylor series and this isn't particularly difficult. So let's just work through it step by step and understand what the fundamental formula involved is. So Taylor's formula is a summation from n equals zero up to infinity. So you just count n, one, two, three, four, and you go on infinitely long, that we'll pick some value of n and stop, we're not gonna go forever, of f of n of a over n factorial x minus a to the power n. Now we talk about a as the point which the Taylor series is um, centered at or we call it the expansion point. So this could be 1 or in the case of the Maclaurin series this would be 0. So this thing here is the derivative order. So we would start off with just the value of the function. When n is 0 then we would get the derivative then the double derivative, then the triple derivative, and then when, f, when we've got n is 4, it would be 4 like that. This is a factorial, so for example, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This is the way that factorials work. Um, there are some special cases for example, 1 factorial is 1, and 0 factorial is also 1. So that's factorials. So let's expand this and see what we get. So we get f of a plus f dash of a x minus a. Right? See this, when this is 1, we get 1 factorial, which is just 1. This is f dash when n is 1 and this is just x minus a hence this term here let's keep going f double dash of a over 2 factorial this is when n is 2 but x minus a squared plus f double da triple dash a then we've got x minus a cubed over 3 factorial and just one more term um, f to the fourth a over uh, 4 factorial then we've got x minus a to the power 4 and well that just goes on and, and on and on and on up to n is infinity um, but the series gets pretty accurate with a few terms I mean, usually 4 is quite sufficient. There's no need to go up to a thousand terms unless you have to be extremely accurate for some reason. Okay, now let's just look at a very simple example and I'll show you how to set that out. So this is the formula we've got. So let's imagine that we had, uh, let's say, x to the a. Um, oh, sorry, e to the a. So we've got f of a equals e to the a. So the function we're looking at is f of x equals e to the x. So hang on. We want the Taylor series of f of x equals e to the x. So when x is a, we get f of a is e to the a. So let's take all the derivatives. So f dash of a is, well, that's e to the a. f double dash of a is, well, e to the a again. The triple derivative is e to the a and all the way down it's just always going to be e to the a. Second step, now let's evaluate these. So let's uh, choose a equals zero. This will give us the Maclaurin series. So this is a special case of Taylor series. It's very useful. When a is zero we get the Maclaurin series. And well you know that We've got e of a, that's e of 0, and that is 1. So all of these are going to end up being 1. So when you're doing this, you usually um, work out the derivatives, then work out the value of the derivatives at your point that you've chosen a, and then you evaluate them. So if we come back to this, you see here, all the e's are going to be 0. 
So you can basically look at this. Uh, sorry, e to the uh, e to the a is going to be one. So you can look at this and say, well, that's going to be one. Uh, this is going to be one. That's going to go to um, that's zero because a is zero. So this whole thing's going to be just x. Then this is going to be one. Then this is going to be become x squared. When this a is zero, this is going to be x cubed. This is going to be one. This is going to be one again, and this is going to be x to the fourth. So you see how I've done this. Now um, these are going to be all be zero, and these are all going to be one. So it's just x to the power n. So you can basically you should be noticing a pattern here. And so what is this pattern? Well, we can say that e to the x is equal to well, this is one plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial then we've got what we've got left here x cubed and 3 factorial that's x cubed over 3 factorial next term we've got x to the fourth 4 factorial 4 factorial and so on and we'll notice this is going to end up being 1 that's n factorial and this is going to become x to the power n so you're going to get x to the power n over n factorial and that is your final term. Now there is something else you can do which is called the gen. Now in this example we've assumed that we know some point a, we've decided that it's centered at or the expansion point is some value a. But what if we didn't know um, and we just wanted to work out what the Taylor series is for any value of x, so e to the x, what what could we do there? Well, in that case we're going to get e to the x equals well, e to the a, we're just not going to evaluate the derivatives so that's the first, the value e, the f of a then we're going to get f dash which is going to be e to the a and then x minus a, this is the term when n equals 1 n equals 0, then we're going to get e to the a x minus a squared over 2 factorial plus e to the a x minus a cubed over 3 factorial and just one more term e to the a x minus a 4 over 4 factorial and so the, the last term is going to be e to the a x minus a to the n over n factorial and usually we can look at this term and this kind of gives us the pattern so we can usually condense these right down and basically say that in this case um, e to the x is equal to the summation of n equals 0 to infinity of e to the a x minus a to the power n over n factorial. So this is the f um, Taylor series of e to the x at any value a. Um, the Maclaurin series that we had before could be written in a similar way and this is usually the way that e to the x is explained. So with the Maclaurin series so that a equals 0 we could say that e to the x is a summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. That's what we had previously in here. Okay, so hopefully you can now find a Taylor series. All you do is you get find the derivatives and um, fill in the formula. Just basic substitution into the formula and derivatives. That's all there is to it. Very simple. If you need more practice, I've got a lot of other videos finding Taylor series for various functions, some of them somewhat more complicated. So hopefully this has been helpful to you and thank you for watching.